In this section, you will start to lay out the interior walls of the building. Similar to how the exterior walls were created, a single line representation will be created via the Play Smart Line tool. Along with that, in support of creating the geometry, AccuDraw will be utilized for precision placement. So let's jump into MicroStation where we're going to be creating the interior walls via the Play Smart Line tool. Continuing in the proposed restaurant DGN file, from the 04 Drawing with MicroStation folder, let's set the active level. We'll set this to be a wall full interior. The active level is the level you will place your graphics on that represent the interior walls. Interior walls will now be added to the floor plan. The first interior walls being added will make up what is the office area. So let's go ahead and make the Place Smart Line tool active. In the Tool Settings window, we'll ensure the option Join Elements is disabled. We want to have individual segments for this task. Using AccuSnap, we'll locate the lower right corner of column B3 and issue a data point. We'll move the cursor in a downward direction and key in the following. For the distance, 3,962, and then for the angle, 90. We'll issue a data point to place the vertex, but do not hit reset. Next, we'll move the cursor straight across to the left and key in a distance of 3,099. We'll place a data point, and we'll continue moving the mouse in an upward direction. We'll press the Enter key, which invokes a smart lock, and then snap to either the right or left side of the bottom of column B3. We'll place a data point, and then reset to complete the placement of the office walls. So now we'll be laying out a single line wall that will make up the restrooms. We'll navigate the view to the location of column C3. Here, with the Play Smart Line tool still active, ensure that the option Join Elements is enabled. We'll begin by snapping to the lower right of column C3. From here, we'll place a data point. So we're going to continue by placing vertexes at the lower right of column C4 and then the lower right of column D4. We'll finish this by pressing Reset. Now, we're going to start a new line wall at the lower right of column E5. We'll move the cursor in a downward direction and then key in, for the distance, 4087, and for the angle, 90. We'll then issue a data point to place the vertex, Next, we'll move the cursor to the left and press the Enter key. This is the AccuDraw shortcut for Smart Lock. We'll snap to the right side of either column C4 or D4, and then issue a data point. We'll then reset to complete this. In the next part, utilizing AccuDraw, we'll do a construction offset for the starting point of a screening wall adjacent to the restrooms. So to begin, we'll snap to the wall intersection created by the endpoint of the wall that we just created. We'll press the O on the keyboard to invoke AccuDraw's origin shortcut. This will set the origin of the AccuDraw compass at this point. From here, we'll move the cursor to the right. While indexing to the red tick mark of the AccuDraw compass, in the distance field, we'll input the distance of 1,524. We'll issue a data point to start the line at this location. We'll move the cursor downward and key in 1,806 for the distance and 90 for the angle. We'll place a data point followed by a reset. During this lesson, you learned how to draw walls with the Place Smart Line, apply precision placement via AccuDraw, and utilize AccuDraw shortcuts. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.